All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Um, for our first deck of the day uh, today, uh, which is going to be um, Judith Priest. So I decided to call this deck after two of the most important cards in the deck, Judith the Scourge Diva, or Scourge Diva, and uh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Um, just had, had some pretty good success with the deck. So last time that we played it, uh, we have had like Gruesome Menagerie in this deck before and everything. I think we kind of decided last time after we were playing it that we want to just move towards a Lottery Kindling Phoenix, because this card's just pretty awesome all the time. So we want to get towards Rekindling Phoenix, and Angrath was the card that I, I really wanted in the, the post-sideboard games, where our opponents have a lot more sweepers, maybe we see a lot more like Cry of the Carnariums and things like that. Um, and I had like two Angrass before, and, and honestly, we're just bumping it up to four, because this is the card that I just want to basically always draw, um, and uh, just always want to have this card in those uh, post-sideboard games that are more grindy. Um, so that's what we got. We, we have like our low to the ground aggro game in uh, game one, and then after sideboard, when our opponent brings in a lot of like spot removal and sweepers and stuff like that, then we, then we come through with Angrath and uh get him there yeah hawkeye's favorite deck definitely involves johnny yep hawkeye's a big a johnny fan all right so that's our game plan let's see how it goes let's see if we can untap with priest of the forgotten gods that is certainly like the thing that we really want to do um as you'll see, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing an earlier stream. I'm just going to be on three hours earlier and end three hours earlier uh, just for tomorrow. Um, so instead of 3 to 10, it'll be noon to 7 Eastern Standard Time. I have half price movie tickets on Tuesdays, and I want to go see the Captain Marvel movie, so uh, i got a, a later time. Um, Eight o'clock time to um, to go see that. Hey, what's up on Holy Shade? Okay, you saw it Saturday. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I've heard great things about the movie. Basically, everybody says it's it's really good. All right, so we got Mono Blue to kick it off. Um, so Rekindling Phoenix should certainly be good. And let's get this War Boss down and going and attacking um, Mega Bodies. Um, I think I would rather have a Judith than a Rekindling Phoenix get, get countered. If something's going to get countered. No, no Esper Angels today. I need to... I need to kind of practice that deck a little bit. I, I don't know exactly what I want to do with, like, the the 75 and more so the 60 um, with that deck. Honestly. I'm not, like, real happy of, like, exactly where it's at. Um, <laughs> Hawkeye doesn't like the, the glasses cleaner. He doesn't like how it smells. But yeah, glass are dirty. Need to clean them. Um, like I think the deck is. I think how I have it is too. It's too reactive. But I don't really love the other proactive cards. I don't know. I need. I need to practice with that deck a little bit before, kind of bringing it back and try and kind of try out some stuff. Um. So we'll get our our mono blue sideboarding here in just a minute. Well, not really a minute, because that's about all the time I have, so I should probably do it a little faster than that. 
Mm. All right, not perfect, but let me get to sideboarding. Ooh, that looks a lot better. All right, Duress, Plague Crafter, Plague Mare, Coil. Kind of like all that stuff. I don't like Reaper, um, Instigator, and Enforcer aren't as good. But Priest is nice. But if we take out all of our cre creatures, then the Priest won't be very good. Maybe I don't need Plague Mare. Nah, Plague Mare is cool. Um, I mean, I, I was really up against it in the sideboarding, so I'm yeah, taking out the Plague Mare. Honestly, I think I think Duress is a card that I don't really need here. Honestly, I think I think that's an, an overboard. Um, we don't need to really interact with their their spells too much. Honestly, I think I should probably have like you know just stay with like the creature plan and everything. That's a cool looking island. That's a cool one. I like that island. <laughs> yep, yeah, I can make it work. Just need some... Need a little bit of practice with it. We got a backup priest, so even yeah, even like an essence capture is really not that big of a deal. So we'll go duress priest here. But yeah, you can see I didn't even need that duress. The duress just turned on my opponent's spell pierce. If we lose this game and go to game three, I'm, I'm taking the duresses out. I made a deck that includes all the land art, so when making a new deck, you can just copy it and choose from them. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good idea. They took my priest. back in our hand. Replay it. Play this firebrand. They can shoot the priest. They're going to need to draw some blockers. Um, as far as we can tell, it looks like it was most likely a mistake um, for removing the option to change land art. And a mistake that will most likely be um, fixed in the future. But it hasn't been fixed yet. Make 
Maybe they draw a lightning strike. It's three to three. Yeah, it's just yeah. You just have to upload the correct land or like the upload the land art that you want. It, so it is pretty tedious. Oops. All right, one no. Pretty good showing there for our deck. Yeah, it is tough for Mono Blue to keep up. Yep. We had, to be fair, we had good draws both of those games, and our opponent not so much. Uh, you know, like they didn't have their one drop curious obsession kind of thing, and it was still three to three <laughs> at the end. Um, and we had pretty solid hands. I mean, so Instigator is a really nice spot on the curve. Go like going Firebrand Instigator Judith is awesome. Um, but I think I want to bottom just to kind of make sure we hit the third land. Because it is going to be really important that we hit that third land. And, um, with us being on the play, uh, if I keep that, then we only get to see the very next card. We only get one card. Uh, it would have been the third land. Alright, well. You know. Sometimes your decision doesn't quite work out. Yep, it's Judith, Judith Priest is our deck. Um, this with usually I would, I would slam the Priest of Forgotten Gods here, but with our opponent playing uh, Esper Control, I'm going with the Judith. Unfortunately, both Judith the Scourge Diva and Priest of the Forgotten Gods are not very good against Esper Control. I, I don't have any uh, of the band Judas Priest in my sideboard or in my playlist. I don't. Sack these two. Wow. And that did it. So this looks like more like Esper Midrange than Esper Control, considering they had main deck hostage taker. So we saw uh, Thought Erasure, Cast Down, Mortify, and Hostage Taker. And looks like the opponent was not too happy about that loss and just picked up the cards. That was weird. Easy game. So we would have been playing against, I believe, Esper Midrange. Um, and a card like Plague Crafter, or not Plague Crafter, um, Plague Mare. Sorry, Plague Mare. Is good, really good against Hero of Precinct One, but not very good if they don't have Hero of Precinct One. All right, go Firebrand. Oops. Sorry about that. Ross, the biggest boss with a huge cheer. 
Thank you so much, Ross. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, saying, thanks for all the cool deck ideas. Been, been tons of fun at trying some of these out. That's awesome. Which ones have you been really liking the most? Um, yeah, what have been your favorite of the, the deck ideas there? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. So we'll see if our opponent's playing Mono Red. Or not. Naya Legends and Esper Duplicate so far. Okay. Nice. They're definitely two of the best. Um, yeah, I've been r really impressed with the Esper Duplicate. Uh, I'm going to have to play that deck a little more. I'll probably play that one tomorrow. Going upstairs with a Shock. That's got to mean... Um, Light up the stage, yeah. That was the card that I was thinking of. And glad it's Mountain Mountain. Um, because they can only they can only use one of those mountains for next turn. No. So do I want to attack with this priest? Let's say they play Chain Whirler next turn. I could <clears throat> I could hold the the priest back so whenever they play the Chain Whirler, I activate it and sack Firebrand and Priest and make them sack the Chain Whirler. I'm going to get in there for extra damage. Hey, King Toll. Yeah, definitely having a, a good time. Yep, just starting the stream off here. I played the Gruesome Menagerie version of this deck at FNM and lost to every control. Dang. Yeah, that's the controls are dif definitely uh, difficult with the, uh, you know, with all their sweepers and everything. Um... The new card that I kind of have in the sideboard, uh, for the like, especially with those matchups in mind, are just going full out on Angraths. Uh, I have four Angraths in this sideboard, um, and that's that's main consideration there. So. I guess I'm not going to activate that priest. Let's go. Let's just attack with these two. And play instigator. I'm going to keep this priest activation up. Because if, if there is a chain whirler, I really want to have uh, this a priest activation up with having these extra 1-1s one here. Perfect, King Toll. Perfect. Hey, what's up, Soul Farmer? Um... But no chain whirler, so I'll just let that happen. Um, and yeah, I, I have moved away from Bruce and Menagerie myself as well, and I'm playing the Rekindling Phoenixes. Uh, so I'm going four Phoenix in the main. I think Phoenix is a pretty good threat against control. Um, yeah, I know. I know that, that us playing this deck in the past, we've struggled against control, specifically control decks with Cry of the Carnarian. I mean, if our opponent doesn't have. I don't know, something. It should be lethal. Looks like a lot of creatures for an opponent at 10. Monored's kind of tough too. So yeah, I have, I have the full play set of Rekindling Phoenix in the main to help out there, and then and then just a bunch of Angrath in the sideboard. Because, you know, control decks, they, they wrath your creatures, and like whenever they wrath, I 
Like, Angrath is just a card that I just basically always, always want in that matchup. So what to do against Mono Red? Um, we don't know if they are a Chain Whirler deck. We kind of expect that they are. Um, hey, what's up, Yud? Yep, starting early tomorrow to go see Captain Marvel. Um, turns out the the tickets on Tuesdays are half price. Uh, half price tickets on Tuesdays. So um, I got the 8.30 showing. So I'll go from noon to... So start at three hours early, go from noon to seven instead of um, three to ten. Yeah, you can find the Simic Adapt list in here. Ah, Dex. You have to kind of scroll to... Um... Okay, wait, let's get Midnight Reaper out here. I kind of want Angrath. No, let's just go like this. The Priest is not very good. All right, there we go. Um, So yeah, you can find it in the stream decker there. You have to scroll down from like two days ago. Um, we we played the deck two days ago, the Simic Adapt deck, and we're using the same list we played a couple days ago. Um, Angrath is slow, but that's the thing is like this matchup's usually pretty slow. It's usually, um, you know, not always, but uh, a good amount of time. It's it's pretty grindy of like us playing creatures, them using burn spells on the creatures, and like the you know it. It turns into a slower game than expected. Oh, I should have played the Firebrand. I was kind of planning on playing the Priest, but I honestly kind of think that Duress Firebrand may be better. Um, the Duress to help the war boss out, but at this point, I'm, I think I'm pot committed to the Priest. You made a gate land destruction deck, had a good win rate with it. That's awesome. Yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. Hey, what's up, James? Yeah, so this is pretty similar to, to my list. I'm not playing Gross Spiral, Shark to Crab, um, Integrity Intervention, or, or Essence Capture, but I got the rest of those um, on in there. Um... Pretty similar. Here you go. I can I can go find the the link to the exact deck if you missed it. Um, I don't have a good turn against this chain whirler. Oh, I guess it's from it says four days ago. But this is, that's the list there. Ah, okay. Um, cause like War Boss just makes a token that gets eaten. Um, I can go Firebrand plus Duress. I mean, the, the Duress is gonna just like lose value pretty quickly. Chain Whirler is a tough card for us to beat. Strike, Skewer, Light Up. Those are some really good cards. Those are some good cards. Um, all right, and so that's what we are probably going to kill him with this firebrand. Is killing that Viachino pyromancer. question 
is if we can race this chain whirler or not. So really glad they did that pre-combat. So I just get to get to basically save three life here um, with the block and sack. Yeah, Phoenix is going to be our our hope. Ooh. Never mind. That's a good draw. Yeah, that was certainly nice of our opponent to play that pre-combat. No, I'm going to be going and seeing the Captain Marvel movie tomorrow. That's why I'm doing the early stream uh, tomorrow. I'm going to go see that movie. It's a half-price ticket on Tuesday. Um, so get out of the house for, for once and, and go do something. So I'm going to go ahead and go do that. Eat a bunch of movie popcorn. Probably feel bad the next day for eating a bunch of movie popcorn. Um, don't necessarily want to just throw the war boss into the lightning strike. <laughs> Get out of the house. You're not a real nerd. <laughs> um, I didn't really start early today. Same, same time. I might have, I might have jumped on a, a couple minutes early, but I didn't really start the game till little later. All right, they've drawn lands for a few turns in a row, which is really nice. Um, I guess it's time to start throwing these war bosses out there. Now we got a second one. Yeah, I've heard good comments on Captain Marvel as well. Oh, oh, right, yeah, there's a, yeah, we had a time change here, gotcha. Yeah, compared to, that's why, that's why you're saying I'm early, I gotcha. Cause the, the time change, yeah. Instigator? You think you're the only, or, my opponent's like, sorry, from my opponent's perspective, they're like, you think you're the only one that can play 1-1s one -ones around here? And I'm like, no, I guess not. Okay, EU changes on the end, the ends of the end of March. So it'll be real early tomorrow then for Europe. Only one black source is annoying. Get to pick up our other gutter bones and play it. Nice, chilling on. So tomorrow I'm starting 7 p.m. for you. See, the perfect prime time. Prime time tomorrow. Keep running into mono blue and red. That's that's actually what we've played so far. We played mono blue, and now this is mono red. So I understand that life of running into those decks quite a bit. Ah, uh, you don't get home till late. Well, so you'll be a little, you'll be a little late, but you won't have to wait for me to get on. I guess so. I'm usually on at like. Normally 11 p.m., but right now with the time change, 10 p.m. for you. Yeah, there you go. You can watch on your phone from the subway. Perfect. 
All right, so that's probably a light up the stage. Um, well, that's a great light up the stage. I mean, great is a little bit. I mean, we have a rekindling phoenix, so you know, great is, you know, relative. But you know, having the five mana there and everything. I guess if it was lightning strike chain whirler, then it would have been great because they could have lightning striked the phoenix, then chain whirler away everything, and then I would be like, oh no, I can't attack through. Oh wait, I would still have lethal because they'd only have the chain whirler to block. And I'd have two two twos. So they're in a rough spot. All right, three and zero. Quick start for Judith Priest. Hey Matthew, you going good? Going good. All right, what do we got? Ooh, two, three, four. Get a tap land in. Mono blue again. It is just a lot of mono red and mono blue, I suppose. You have one one one. We have two one ones. All right, starting ice cream tomorrow. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Um. Please don't essence capture. Don't essence capture. Don't do it. Don't do it. Woo! Nice. Uh, Bant familiar yesterday. Oh, how did we end up yesterday? Um, I know pretty well. I don't remember if we got to five wins or maybe to four wins. Honestly, it may have been a 3 2. I don't quite remember, but. Um, you know, Band Familiar is just one of the. One of my. Uh, preferred decks of the format. I think it's uh, pretty strong, but I don't guess I don't remember exactly how we did. Yeah, go ahead. And, yeah, it's on the YouTube channel. Thanks, Yud. Yeah, check it out there. And LMK. Um, how will dual lands work with new sets rotation? Is it going to be a new cycle of check slash shock lands, or are there going to be other kinds of dual lands you'll have to collect? There will be other kinds of dual lands that you'll have to collect. Um, the the shock lands are going to be staying in standard. They won't be rotating until the fall of 2020. Um, so you, the, you'll still have the shock lands, but the check lands, like Dragon Skull Summon and these cards, they these will be rotating. Um, there will likely be new dual lands in uh, M M20, the, the uh, core set 2020, or uh, the new fall set. Usually fall sets have new dual lands. Um, that's a, usually a pretty good selling point towards uh, fall sets. Um, and, and there is certainly a chance that the Dragon Skull Summit cycle like these cycles just get re reprinted. There's a there's certainly a chance for that. Um, so like that's not out of the question that they'll just stay in standard also. Um, so we'll have to kind of so you'll have to just kind of see of you know what happens there. Um, but if the if this cycle is not reprinted, there'll be likely a new a new cycle of, of dual lands that you'll have to get for your decks and everything like that. Cool. I'm glad you all like the, the thumbnails. Yeah, that is that is still an area that I you know as we talked about previously, uh, you know like last week. That's an area that I'm looking towards upgrading as well.
Yeah, Vapor Snag would, would be in the mono blue deck if it was in standard. So I, I just have to make sure I'm not taking lethal on the way back um, without having the Phoenixes to block. That's like, that's 10 power right now. They play another land, it's like 11 power. Yeah, I I was doing some other things. I didn't uh, didn't have time to do the the Orzov donation deck to make that. Um, considering making it three color as well to have more shock lands to be able to pay more life with like shock lands and stuff. Um, yeah, so I, I haven't had haven't been able to make that yet. Um, and so, honestly, it'll probably be pushed to Wednesday uh, with the early stream tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have time early in the morning to, to do that. Um, so it'll probably be pushed to Wednesday. I also got a... I did get a donation as well for um, making a phylactery lich deck. Um, Midnight does it... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I need to... to Midnight pinging us. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking... Yeah, sorry. But yeah, no, it's still considered that. Um, but anyway, so that's my plan is to make that for Wednesday as well for a phylactery lich deck. Okay, the YouTube details information. Yeah, and I, I need a, a banner for YouTube also. Um, I need to try to find somebody to commission for a banner for YouTube. Yeah, I haven't I haven't put a single thing on the detail, the info of the channel. All right, so we're saying no duress. Um, maybe bedevil. So I'm I'm cutting the reapers. And instigator and, and Orzov enforcer aren't spectacular. Um, I guess I want plague mare. And then I can just trim one enforcer, one instigator, and then just another enforcer and go two and two in that slot. Um, so we're not really adding any threes because we cut four threes, add four threes. I'm not sure if I need this bedevil. We'll see. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Yod. I was, I was thinking about just asking the person, the last person that made my emotes. Um, they don't have like banner art as like one of their things they do, um, and they're a little pricey too, so I wasn't really looking forward to that. So, um, I guess I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, so I'd want somebody artist. I'm thinking like something with like, you know, me and Hawkeye. Um, maybe like me playing versus Hawkeye, like on like playing like some magic, like sitting like like me on the floor, Hawkeye on the floor, and like. You know, like a, a battlefield and stuff between us, like us playing Magic. That's what I was kind of thinking for like a, a cool, a neat looking banner. Alright, so which one would I rather have countered, Warboss or Judith? Probably Warboss. Yeah, my opponent missed the land, missed the th their third land drop there. Uh, when will the spoilers for the next set start? I'm not sure. Um, 
I don't know if those have been announced. They, they don't usually announce when spoilers start. Um, all right, now I want Phoenix in play. You know, Phoenix is like the one of the most important cards to resolve. Um. So the the next set releases like doesn't release until All right, well we can double spell with Priest and Judith, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um and especially how Priest is awesome with this deep freeze. You get to sacrifice this rekindling phoenix and get the get the egg token and have the phoenix come back. That is Priest is awesome here with rekindling phoenix. I I can't imagine our opponent wins this game from here. Um, <laughs> the the next set doesn't come out until the end of April, and so usually previews start like three weeks before the pre-release, maybe ish. So like you're looking at you know like into April, first week of April, somewhere around there that I would kind of expect that to start. So that's still like three weeks away, um, kind of thing. All right, so I'm gonna sack these. Yeah, and I'll sack the token so that we get one. We get one Judith trigger, and the one Judith trigger is gonna kill this Storm Tamer. I guess our opponent. Yeah, they can counter the priest activation, but we still get the Phoenix, right? Oh, we don't get the egg from Phoenix because Deep Freeze means it loses the ability. We don't get the egg. But yeah, Storm Tamer could have sacrificed it to, to counter the priest activation. A little surprised they didn't do that. No, I didn't one speed. I think somebody asked me about somebody asked me about a squee combo deck like yesterday or the day before, something like that, and that could have certainly been it could only could have could have certainly been that deck. All right, well now I can't imagine our opponent winning um, because we don't get the we don't actually get the phoenix back, um, and then our other phoenix got countered. And we drew land, so drew two lands that turn, even with like the priest activation. So I went from not imagining our opponent could win to now I can certainly imagine our opponent winning. Okay, pretty good draw. I mean, just any creature is, is solid. So it takes three instants. They have three instants right now. They're not able to uh, adapt the Terramander. They did not sacrifice their Storm Tamer last time. Putting the two triggers on the Terramander doesn't really make a lot of sense, but that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to attack with Judith. Um, you know, Trickster would, would be something that I don't really want to at attack into. Yeah, I was actually thinking about Revitalize too. Yeah, because we, we are going to need like the extra life and everything. Yeah, uh, Font of Agonies is a deck that I am in need of building. We'll see if they flash in a trickster here to so they don't have to sack their Tempest Gen. Call 
Called it. Alright, good job, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Way to slowly, slowly drain the opponent of all life. And we are 4-0. Ooh, four and oh, y'all know what that means. Let's switch playlists. Because we gotta get pumped up. We gotta get ready. We need to fight further. An early boss fight. Hey, what's up, Eisen F? I will take this hand. Throwing down our priest on turn two. Dun, 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 dun. Hawkeye's up on the bed. What do we got? Mono blue again? You know, we certainly hope it's mono blue or um, or Drake's. Man, I'd, I'd rather have mono blue than Drake's. Um, I don't really want to. I don't want to face uh, Wilma's reclamation. Uh, you know, like with where with what our hand looks like right now, I want to see mono blue. And ask and you shall receive. So let's go. Yeah, let's get Judith out there. He's just laying down on the bed. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect. Um, there we go. That's a picture of Hawkeye right now. Uh, perfect for us. All right. That they, you know, tapped out. Um, we get to get rid of both. So Instigator is just zero mana. Zero mana, we get rid of both of their creatures, we draw a card, get to still play this phoenix. Real strong. That was exactly what I wanted to see. That's why I got the Judith on play in play on turn three. Uh, not only could we double spell with our two drops if, if need be, but I wanted the Judith trigger could take, like I didn't need to sack they need to play the instigator to make them sacrifice their 1-1 because the Judith trigger could take out the 1-1. One, one. All right, so we're bringing in the Coils, Bedevil, Plague Mare, Plague Crafter, Reaper out. I don't know if we need these the two Plague Mares. Let's, let's play one Plague Mare. Um, and one Enforcer out. Instigator is great with Priest, but not really that great when we don't have Priest. But we do need the two drops, though, as we've kind of seen. El Grok with the donation. Okay, all right. Let's see. Let's see what our challenge is here. Or I Grok. All right. We have a, a deck request donation. We don't actually want the devil. No, let's go like this. Okay. I'd like you to play a deck with at least one of all four Vraska Planeswalkers. I will throw in another $70 if you can win a game with all four Vraskas on the battlefield. Okay. So, we need to make 
Let's write this down. We need to make a deck with all four Vraskas. No, not going with Duress in this matchup. The the spells they have aren't like really particularly what we were what we worry about here. Um Plague Mare is great at times, and I like Plague Mare more on the play than on the draw. Like on the play I'm I'm playing both Plague Mares. On the draw, um I'm not as excited about it. All right, so we need all four Braskas. So yeah, it includes the Planes Planeswalker deck Braskas. Wow. All right. And our opponent does not like protecting their Tempest Gen. good for us okay um so uh who do you have donate for this it was uh igrok or igrok um what day would you like me to have that deck ready to play would would wednesday work Or uh, Thursday, Friday, any of those. Uh, tomorrow will be it'll be kind of tough to make it before tomorrow, but any day really. Wednesday's fine. Okay. Um, any any time in the day that you want me to play it? Like, do you want me to play it earlier? Like, you want me to play it first? Do you want me to play it, you know, last? Okay. So any day. So Wednesday or maybe Thursday. We'll, we'll see. Cause I have. I have two other decks to make for for Wednesday, so maybe maybe it'll be Thursday. Um, but how about time? Because I am. I'm very flexible. Make a um, sacrifice. Add our two mana so we can return our gutter bones. Draw a card, which unfortunately is another land. We need to start drawing some spells. Three. Okay, so the 3 p.m. Eastern. So first, all right, so first up. Okay. Perfect. So that was it. Opponent couldn't handle the Priest of Forgotten God. So 3-0 against Mono Blue. This Priest of the Forgotten Gods looks pretty good in that matchup. Yeah, quick five wins there. Real quick, League. Um, we didn't play against any control decks, which is what we struggled with the last time that we played Judith Priest, and which was why we added the all the Angrass to our sideboard here. Um, but we just played three mono blues, a mono red, and some other deck where we rolled through our opponent game one, and they just scooped, and we didn't even play a game two or three. Uh, it was an Esper deck, um, probably Esper midrange. Um, but yeah, the, the deck worked out really well. I mean... Goblin Instigator is the kind of card that that people that some people don't think should be in the deck, but I like it in the deck. It it really works it works really well with Priest. Um, even without Priest, uh, we saw it have the extra bodies with like War Boss. Um, like the ex extra bodies were just kind of coming through where we had like too many one ones for our opponent, and of course it's good with uh, Judith, you know, having like the multiple two ones and everything. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I would I would run this back again. I mean, we didn't didn't play it a ton, of course, um, 
So, you know, we didn't get to face a lot of different decks, basically. You know, we kind of faced the same deck and, and had our sideboarding down. Um, but that's that's our league. So 5-0 for Judith Priest. Way to go. Way to kick off the day. So if you're watching this uh, video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.